Um, yes, I have noticed some changes. I, especially at home with my brother and some with my mum. Um, I know that when they annoy me or something doesn't go how I want it to go, I don't have to start getting really annoyed and like screaming at them because I know that you know no one can put a feeling in me. I think I've noticed a lot of positive changes like being able to calm myself when I feel like I'm on a false logic road and kind of just being able to get back to where I was. I've experienced a change in how I look at the world and how I look at people. Uh, I'm, I, I, I'm now not taking things for granted as much as I used to. It was the day before a test, I think on a Tuesday, and I was very worked up and unstable and I wasn't ready for the test mentally. I didn't feel good. I was breaking down, I didn't have any insight whatsoever about the situation. I didn't know how to think, nor anything else. Although, before I went to sleep, I had a moment of insight, and I saw that I don't need, I don't need to make anyone proud of me, I just need to make myself, and if I don't get um, a good score, I can think about what I've done wrong and what I need to improve on, and if I could get a good score, great. Um, yeah, so uh, I got into like an argument with my friends a couple of days ago, and I was like overthinking it, thinking, oh, is this me that's like messed up all of this, and what if I'm not like, what if I'm not their friends anymore? So, you know, I sort of thought back to thinking, actually, no, I'll just talk about it. Well discuss and you know um, I don't have to like overthink and I can just calm down a bit. Um, so when I play football I realise that like I get sad of course when I'm losing but then I can realise that my well-being is an A and then I don't have to worry about losing I just have to be like I have to think positively I have to say that yes I'm losing but I could still win there's still time and yeah basically. Um, I think I had a falling out with someone in my class and it happened towards the end of the day so by the end of the day we hadn't had any time to sort it out so when I was at home I was really upset I couldn't really I felt like I couldn't really do anything and I just felt completely um, out of it but I started thinking about iHeart and I started thinking I'm on the false logic road and I started thinking about how I could get back um, to the logic road. Mm, I like the labels are for jars and not people because that really made me feel because, you know, everybody is different and I think you know, I've done stuff that I'm not very proud of in the past. I've, you know, been rude to my friends sometimes because I was angry. And I know that if someone calls, like, keeps, um, if someone labels me with that one time in the past, um, I wouldn't feel very good because, you know, I've changed. And I think it's, that was my favorite lesson because it really made me understand the concept. Well, what was helpful was um, the well-being sun as a metaphor and how it can never be destroyed or corrupted or anything like that. It can just be covered up by clouds. Um, I really like the metaphor that our well-being is a sun and that when we feel down or upset or anxious or worried, it's just clouds covering over because some days the clouds will be in the sky but some days they won't be. So it's like some days, of course, you'll be upset, but some days you won't be. And when you are upset, there is always ways to get the clouds to move away from the sun. So I thought that was really helpful. Okay, so I would definitely recommend iHeart because it's just so, such a safe place and it explains well-being in such a way that makes me understand and makes a lot of people understand and if you're thinking about doing it and 
I just want you to know that your mental health will be a lot better. Um, I would definitely go for it because even if you're not sure about like what it would help and if it could help, I think you should really try it because it helped me and I'm sure it's helped so many more people um, with different things like bullying, overthinking and like false logic roads and like your inner compass and stuff. So yeah, I would definitely go for it. Um, I would recommend iHeart to um, I think a lot of students, um, not just if you've had problems feeling anxious or worried, but it's a really good thing to have even if you don't really get anxious and worried because you can just, if you eventually do, then you can stop it or if um, you feel like you're going to become anxious, you can stop it early and you'll just always know that and I think I would really recommend it because it's very helpful especially for people who have um, dealt with feeling anxious for a long time. I would definitely recommend the iHeart program to other students uh, be, and adults because if you're in a hard time then you with the, I, with the iHeart session if you took it um, you'll, you start to realise that you start to realise all these things that you've learnt in the iHeart session and you, you look at the world differently once you um, have the iHeart session and I would definitely recommend this.